dragonflies. Do you think Hagrid can help? I think Ravenclaw's got the most handsome Quidditch team at Hogwarts. We need to get some flying seahorses. Dragonflies hover near shallow pools. Good. We need to get some flying seahorses. We find flying seahorses. Do you think they'll ever catch Sirius Black? Ron, I don't think Harry needs reminding about him. I'll find out what they're going to do about Buckbeak later today. Just hope he'll be all right. Sorry, I'm just so worried. What do you want to ask me? Let's look for doxy nests in the trees. I'll bet that's where we'll find eggs. Sure.
I really, really need some antidote now. <laughs> Help! This poison's affecting me! I need some antidote! have enough. That's it. We have all the doxy eggs we need. We need to get some flying seahorses. Those are flying seahorses in the lake. Nice one! Let's go and see Hagrid. I'll bet he can help us. Good! 
good. Do you think we ought to see if Hagrid can help us? Dragonflies, but how can we get them out of the air? Just one more, and we'll have enough. Dragonflies we need. Come on, let's go to potions. We've got everything. to potions. We've got all our ingredients.
it's through there. And this leaves you with the girding potion, which may be consumed to increase one's endurance for a considerable number of weeks. I do warn those of you who wish to experiment with this potion that the maximum dosage is no more than two of these vials. Class dismissed. Sorry, Ron. I've got to go to the Quidditch Stadium. Good luck! Draco! Hang on! You know the plan you had about swapping the Quidditch ball crate for the one with jinxed balls? Well, Flint and Derek have done it. They put the real crate in the courtyard in front of the clock tower. The cup's ours! Let's go and wipe out Gryffindor! You took your time. I've just heard that Slytherin have swapped the Quidditch ball crate for one with jinxed balls in it. We've got to tell Professor Dumbledore. We can't just go telling tales and expect him to stop the match. We've at least got to show him the evidence. Did they say where they'd put the real crate? In the courtyard in front of the clock tower. Okay, let's go outside and see if we can get into the courtyard. There it is! Yeah, but we can't get to it from here. The only way to get to it is to go out into the grounds and then fly in. Or something. Come on! How are we going to get into that courtyard? We have to find Buckbeak. Let's go! Come on! So, fly to that courtyard in front of the clock tower.
that's it. Now to go to the Quidditch Stadium. Ron and Hermione arrived just in time to show the evidence to Professor Dumbledore, who quietly removed the jinxes from the Quidditch balls and allowed the match to continue. This gave the Gryffindor team the help that they needed, allowing Harry to catch the Golden Snitch and win not only the game, but the Quidditch Cup as well. You were fantastic! What's the matter with Hagrid? Hagrid? It's no use. Beaky's gonna be executed at sunset. I couldn't help him. Oh, Hagrid, what can we do? There's nothing you can do. The time's set and that's it. Now just run along and turn in. I gotta go and make Beaky comfortable. Maybe we could... Oh, I don't know. No, Hagrid's right. There's really nothing we can do. We should turn in. The house point totals are to be counted. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Slytherin is in the lead. Harry, Ron and Hermione paced the Gryffindor common room, worried about Hagrid. They're going to execute Buckbeak tonight. We've got to go and see Hagrid. He can't just sit there on his own waiting for the executioner. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 